Assalamualaikum and greetings to everyone. Today I want to continue creating travel brochure. Previously, from the first part, I show you how to setting up the travel brochure, and for this final part, I want to show you how to insert the content in travel brochure that we did. Okay. So, first of all, I want to create a background color of our brochure here so I'm using rectangle tool okay drag fill until the bleed area okay and then I want to fill the rectangle tool with a blue color okay and then I select the rectangle tool I edit copy I move to the second page here I paste in place all right okay now i want to create but uh, a clipping mask by using a pen tool okay pen tool i create a shape right here okay i clone i complete the shape until the last vertex here okay and then after that i select the creepy mask here and then I go to file please I select uh, image here okay and then we want to fit the image to the creepy mask area I go to right I click right click and then I go to fitting fill frame proportionally okay and then I want to create a second creepy mask at the bottom here okay make sure that our uh, image is at seed until the bleed area okay until the bleed area this is to ensure that uh, we don't have white edges okay and then I want to I continue to create a second clipping mask here Okay, I complete the shape. I click the shape here and then I go to file, place and then insert second image. Okay, then I right click fitting fill frame proportionally. Okay, if you want to adjust the position of the uh, keep it clipping uh, image here, so you just select direct selection tool and then select the clipping mask and you just move it okay so all right and then i want to insert title so i'm using this tag tool and I drag here say company name the title here I want to change to white color okay I want to change the uh, type of font to ingra okay I select bold and then I want to enlarge the font size okay a okay. bit there okay this is the title okay I want to copy the title and move to the middle of column here so maybe this title I want to change to contact us move slightly to this okay to this area and then I edit copy paste in place 
I move to the left most column here. Move slightly up here. And this one I want to shape uh, I want to change the title to um, our clients. Okay. So maybe the front of our brochure here, I want to make it different. So I want to make the font size bigger than the rest. Okay. So I put dummy text here, the content. Okay. After I drag the type tool, then I right click, I want to insert fill with placeholder text. So this is the dummy text. I want to change to white color. The font, the font type I want to change to Ingra regular. Okay. Alright. So this copy paste in place. So I want to move to the left most color here. Okay. Or maybe I want this a new free her text here. Okay. Alright. So the text content make sure it not exceed the margin area. I can uh, say that this margin area is the safe zone area where we make sure that our text content uh, do not exceed the safe zone to avoid from uh, we may cut the important text content during the uh, printing process so make sure the text content is within the safe zone area which is the margin area okay All right so this is the first page and then move to the second page which is the inside area of the brochure same step, I want to create baby mask here. Okay, create a custom shape here. And then uh, select the shape, go to file, place, select image okay and right click the uh, the clipping mask here and then right click go to fitting fit frame proportionally okay then the second clipping mask at the bottom here mm. complete the shape and select the shape go to file this is an image here okay right click fitting fill frame proportionally and you can uh, move the image by using direct selection tool we click the clipping mask area okay all right so i just copy the title here move to the second page and i did paste it this okay this i call the front inside area i call this Hmm. Our collaborators. Okay. And then for the second uh, title, the middle column of the inside arrow of the brochure. I want to say I want to put. 
title our portfolios okay and then the rightmost column the title is maybe um, our team for example only okay so same step put dummy text by using fill with disorder text so drag within the margin area okay after complete drag the type tool right click fill with this for the text okay change the font to white and then change the font uh, type to ingra select regular okay so just copy then paste in place move to the middle column here. all right maybe i want to uh, put another uh, other place of the text so it will be uh, different from the first one randomly okay then a sec and then the last right most text content here okay right. uh, delete the content uh, within the tag tool here and then right click fill with this for the text okay all right so maybe here also i want to change the random text of the place for the text all right so this is the gutter area from the left line here to the right line here this is called gutter area same goes to this one okay the first one is the outside area of the brochure so this will be the both front page of our brochure here so that's why i put the font slightly different the size of the rest of the title okay this is the inside area of the brochure okay after i complete uh, do the content of our try for brochure here now we move to export it so i go to file export I put the folder location that you want i rename it to 02 okay save so this export adobe pdf uh, setting will uh, pop out and then make sure adobe pdf preset set to high quality print okay this and then select marks and blitz tab this is the important uh, part here so make sure you take crop marks and color bars okay offset make sure the size i mean the unit of the offset is similar to the bleed um, unit so 0 0.25 inches so offset also have to set it to 0 0.25 okay make sure you take use document bleed settings and also this uh, box here tick include slab area okay and then export it there is overset text on these pages just ignore okay then open the adobe pdf that we create here okay so this is the output you can see that this is the full dash line is it uh, the slug area and then we have this crop mark line okay and the color bar 
Sim goes to the second page here. Okay. Now we are ready to print the brochure, the trifle brochure that we did.